Dear Lars, I want to make a ring with a pattern in it. Can I somehow do unfold to it and then draw and extrude? Please explain to me how. It doesn't have to be air in a live stream. Well, it's definitely on video. Um, yes, let's jump into uh, to that and take a look at that. Now, um, let's just move on from our hyperboiloid or whatever, how you pronounce that. <laughs> um, so if we were talking about unflattening anything, then we're normally looking at sheet metal. So let's go into the sheet metal workspace up here. And uh, there's a little bit of a trick if you're trying to make a ring in using sheet metal in the sense that it can't be fully enclosed when you're doing all the fold and unfold. Now you could potentially do that afterwards, but I'm gonna go in and create a, uh, a sketch on one of these faces and see for circle. And I honestly don't know how big uh, a ring is. Let's make it 25 millimeters like this here. Now the trick, like I said, is that it cannot be fully round and be flattened. There's a couple of, you know, this is kind of like a little tips and tricks here. So um, create a line vertical up to snap into there. And then I'm gonna create a line out here in a little bit of an angle. So D for dimension. And let's make this, oops, I don't wanna do it on that side. That's stupid. I want it between there. Let's make it like, I don't know, it doesn't really matter. It just has to be a little bit of a gap. I'm making it two degrees up there. And then I'm going to break this. And you can do that in the modify. There's a trim function. I'm going to break this out. See that? So now it's broken like that. Now, um, when we go in to, um, to sheet metal to do a flange, um, make sure that you uh, select the, not the face, but actually the edge here. And then you kind of get, you see, you get this, this section out here. Um, and I'm a little bit, I'm, this might be, I'm not sure sizes are right, but, um, so, but we have this gap here, but it's still not good enough. We need, this is a little like that. We need a little flat piece to be able to flatten this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do an extrude and I'm going to select that face I used before and it can be tiny. So point one. Like it just needs a little bit of a flat in there that doesn't really even matter. And of course, if you're producing this um, in real life, if you wanted to, to solder it in the end to make it a full ring, of course you can do that. But what we can do now is if we go into the modify drop down, we have an unfold. And if we select um, that flat little face there, um, and we can say unfold all bands, then it becomes flat. Hit OK, and now it's flat. And notice that there is a refold button we're going to use up here in a second after we now have put our pattern in. So now we can go ahead and we can pattern, oh, the wrong flat. we can pattern whatever we want. So I'm going to go ahead here and start a sketch um, and see for circle. Well, I'm going to do a line, alpha line from the midpoint to here and C for circle. I'm just gonna draw a circle here. Let's make it like six. And maybe we drag it in a little bit. D for dimension, we could put a, I really don't bother fully define everything when I'm doing this, but just for the rule of it, let's make this five. Um, and then we could do like a Q for press pull. We could make a cut through here like this, and then I would probably could use something like pattern. Now notice that we are in sheet metal. So notice that the pattern is not really in here. You notice that pattern is not in here. Well, you can always jump over to your solid workspace, even though that we are working with the sheet metal part, you can incorporate these. So this is really handy. So just rectangular pattern. I'm going to select this face. I'm going to select this ads as my direction. Um, and then we can start doing how many we want. And I did cover in a couple of videos ago how we can control length and, and stuff like that. So I'm not going to worry about that here. Let's make eight of them. Hit OK. And now we have now we have those. And then we can just jump back to sheet metal and say unfold. And then it will fold it back with whatever that shape was that we decided to put to put in there. So that's how you can do that ring. Now, if this was a real ring, you're modeling it up. Like I said, you probably want to solder this up, but this is how we can, we can model it. And if I go back down on the timeline, then it's flat, go forward, then it's
it's, it's bad. Ha! Useful? I hope so. Cool little trick, right? Down if you don't like it. It's okay. Comments? Love them. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, I would truly appreciate that. That was two, um, two, <clears throat> that was in 2016.